Hey everyone. So I'm back here at this site of this hotel and new Haymarket market site. And they're now working on the third and fourth floor. The fourth floor? Yeah. The fourth floor. Maybe the fifth? Yeah, the fifth floor. I can't count. <laughs> Guess I can't count. The fifth floor. I've actually got the fifth floor up over there. But they're doing all the form work along the top here. I forget how many floors are supposed to be on this building, but it definitely blocks the view of downtown. Wonderful. So yeah, they're unloading this truck right now with all the rebar and they have some more scaffolding. It's interesting how long they keep all the support works up after they pour the concrete, but I guess they have to do that while the concrete cures so it doesn't settle. Not sure if you remember what happened last time I was here. I tried to do an update on this building. Let me just give you a little snippet of, of that. <laughs> This is what I have to deal with all the time. Pig. You got 30 bucks? She, hey, let me tell you something. You should do anything you want, 30 bucks. I'm all set, thanks. She, hey, bad looking, isn't it? <laughs> she loves eating ass. Oh. oh, God. Yeah, that's uh par for the course when it comes to what I experience in life. Uh, yeah, anyway, so back to the building. So it's pretty cool. I'm actually gonna go to the top of the garage over there and we'll look at it from, from that vantage point. All right, let's head over there. I decided to stop here because this is a pretty cool spot. I actually have old photos of when the highway used to run through here from this spot. Let me show those to you right now. It's pretty cool. And you can see, you can see the new tower going up there. This one that they just finished. It's one way off in the distance in the West End that I've shown. It was in the last video. So this is definitely a spot Wow, that's loud. Um, definitely a spot that's showing a lot of the construction all in one. Three construction projects all in one shot. You can also see they've got the first brick panel facade up. And that's what the building will look like when it's, when it's all done. A nice brick which will match everything else in the area. It's pretty cool watching the tower crane swing over the top of the building. All right, let's head to the top of the garage check it out from up there. All right, so now we're on the top of the garage. Quincy Market, Fania Hall, right here. And obviously you can see the top of the garage is not plowed. They actually have an ice melter in this garage, which is kind of interesting because um, they could scoop up all the snow and melt it. And the ice melter is right over there. But obviously they don't use it. So now I have to walk across. Three inch deep snow 
to get to where I want to film the construction. The things I do for these videos. <laughs> It's interesting that the it's melted right here and right over there in spots. Not sure why. Okay. So now here we are. So I think this is as tall as the building's gonna get. They might go up one more floor, actually. From the looks of it, they are. Let's see. Over there, they're starting to put the steel skeleton around the concrete core of that new, really fancy glass tower. And that is gonna be even taller, like somewhere, somewhere right, right up here, I think, yeah. I have some video of what this looked like a few months ago. I'll show you that right now. Check this out. All right, cool. Get a good view of what's going on with this new building going in. Parcel 9, I think it's called. It's gonna be residents and stuff and they're putting in this deep <clears throat> triangular foundation here. But the actual off-ramp to the highway is right here. And you can see the actual wall to the, the tunnel off-ramp. And that goes all the way over and ties in to where it comes out of the ground. So this is progressing pretty well. And this building will, will be as tall as, as that building over there, which is about a floor taller than we are at right now. So when this is all said and done, all of this will be, all this view will be blocked off. And then there's some photos of what this looked like 20 years ago. Check this out. Yeah, this has changed quite a bit. And once all the brick is on here, it's gonna be, it's gonna be nice. I have to say it's gonna match what's going on here at the Bostonian Hotel, but without the little balconies. All right, let's keep going. Let's keep moving on. We have to move to the next project. And the next one is behind this building. I'm gonna walk back and show you. So the building we're heading over to is right here. And I'll zoom in right now and you can see they're actually stripping off the old concrete facade and putting glass on. And I do have some video from last summer or last fall showing the progress of that. It's taking a long time, but that's fine. Let's, uh, let's start heading over there now. Get a closer look. 
Well, I just turned around and I saw that there's these cell phone antennas that are painted painted brick uh, <laughs> brick color to to match what's going on in this wall. Not even sure if this is real brick. It's not. It's fake brick, but that's what this world is filled with. Fakeness. Just thought I'd show you guys that. All right, let's, uh, oh, that's a cool view. You can see the Zakem Bridge. I'll zoom in on that right now. Yeah, and there's some cranes over here. And that's the construction for the North Washington Street Bridge. All right. Let's head over there. Let's do it. Just wanted to show you this cool view of the snow melter that they don't use. <laughs> um, yeah, so they dump the snow in here and it goes down and there's a tub that's heated up by a furnace that melts all the snow it's pretty cool unfortunately they don't use it so this garage is strange because it's only it's only about 100 cars parked in it maybe less but it fits about 700 or more um I'm about to show you that let's go to each floor and i'll show you what they look like So this is floor six. Obviously, obviously you can see no cars here. Oops, there's about five cars on this floor. Go down at floor five. Floor five, we have a few cars, two there, six there. We have 10 on this floor. I mean, that was a total of 17 on five. And obviously the further you go down, the more cars there are. This is floor four. We have about 15 over here yeah it's it's filling up fairly this is actually not so bad on the floor four but each floor fits about a hundred cars so when you're only having like 17 cars or five cars on a floor it's it's not very very efficient Yeah, so now we're on three and it's pretty full. All right, I'm not gonna show you any of the other floors because they're full. But let's go back to time-lapse mode. Okay, so here's the building here. I'm actually gonna take a detour to show you something else first, which is up here. There's a building they built on top of, of this building here. You can see it. And it's really cool. Um, and there's some cool fire escapes, spiral staircase fire escapes I wanna show you. All right, let's head over there. Yeah, so check this out. They have these awesome spiral staircase fire escapes. There's one. And there's another one. There's four all together. Really cool. I 
and then there's two more, one here and one here. And then this building is new. This used to just be a blank wall right here. And uh, and now it's some hotel, I think. All right, let's go back. Um, I'm gonna go around this way. Oh, this is cool too. This granite's all etched with crisscrosses for traction. And there's the old state house. Oh, this is cool too. You can see, we're gonna check that building out after the other one. You can see the building way down there that they're building and this huge high rise tower. It's gonna go right there. That's gonna be cool when it's done. All right, back to time-lapse mode. Here's a good view of the building they built on top of, of this, top of this building. It's really cool how they did the, uh, the underside undulating, almost like, like fabric, and with all the reflective glass. I'll get, I'll get to the corner and show you. It wraps around the corner. Yeah, get a better look at it here. It's pretty cool. As I say, if you're gonna add something to the top of a building, that's a good way of doing it. I love how the copper cap on the old building is like right in the middle of the building now and it plays off of that undulating reflective material at the bottom. I like it. All right, I'll show you the next the next building which is right right over here. Here we are. And they haven't, they haven't really done anything since last time I was here a few months ago. It almost makes me think, are they, are they just leaving it like this? Um, it's very strange. Maybe coronavirus has kind of slowed down the project. I'd like to ask. But it's gonna be cool when it's all said and done, a lot better than that concrete that you see up above. It's kind of interesting how they're they're doing it from the bottom up. And this is Post Office Park and po Post Office Square. <coughs> um. This building over here has an interesting history. I have photos of it before it had windows on the bottom level. All these, all those windows there never used to be there. This is what it, that used to look like. I was like, wow, that'd be a great building for murals. But they put windows, which is, which is actually preferred. I wonder when they're gonna finish this one. All right, let's move to that other construction project that's over here. Time-lapse mode. Wow, this is pretty cool. There's like a whole tunnel that goes through the building. to the other side. I actually have photos of what this looked like before this was here. Check this out. But this is gonna be a lot taller. It's gonna be even taller than this building. It's supposed to be as tall 
That's this building. And that's not even showing how tall this building is because this building comes out, up, and then back in. This is really cool. I'm gonna head over to the other side and show, show images from over there. Let's head over there. Wow, this is coming together pretty well. I have some old images of what this used to look like. I'll show that to you now. It's pretty cool, right? It's very fascinating. This has a giant underground garage that took about a year to, to build. So yeah, this thing is gonna be really tall. It might even be taller than taller than that building there. It's interesting that the uh, the tower crane is actually sitting right in the middle of the street because they blocked this. It's an actual street right here, and they blocked off this street to to have this whole construction site. And this used to be a park with with trees in it, but obviously that's all gone. But they'll put all that back when it's when it's all done. All right, I'm gonna head around. Wow, this is really cool. They're actually still digging out the basement garage portion while they build on top. It's really cool. This crane, this little mini crane, has a clamshell that's lifting all the, the dirt out from the basement of this building and putting it into this truck. <laughs> 